Welcome to the Suerte del Molino farm, Andalusia in Spain. We are in nature, we want to learn. We have many of these home oak saplings. And that's why I don't want to cut or roll just indiscriminately because I want to protect those plants that are precious to me. And to identify all of them is a cumbersome task. But uh, we will have to clean all around the fence line. It is a huge fire hazard. Last year in the drought, there were almost no fires because there was no growth. This year, my neighbor, the firefighter, says they will be busy. Here is another one. This is sunrise, it is cooler today, about 10 degrees cooler, so hopefully some moist air is moving in from the Atlantic, pushing out the hot air from the Sahara Desert. And this is where we are, the playground of the Atlantic and the Sahara. I have also seeded this uh, rehabilitated erosion gully. Things are growing well, but it needs water. The pipe is ready. I'll just see if we get some rain the next two days, or else I'll water it again. It's still quite moist in the middle. Still some seepage from higher up. A lot of leaves from the cork oak and the holm oak. They appear evergreen but they change the leaves all the time this year we will leave it somebody said that's why they call leaves leave them we have some corn uh, straw baled corn stalks crushed that we will use to, uh, you, to you will use as mulch our high clay content soil is already cracking if it's not wet it dries very quickly on top deeper down it keeps the moisture for quite some time but uh, the surface cracks quite easily. This is the asparagus swale. It's interesting for me that it grows very tall, falls over, dies, and then the next one, and the next one. what you have to do guys next year you are in my plate 
we have sown lots of watermelons and melons in between. They are our ground covers. On this fruit swale we have some pears, mulberry, then I planted a, an apricot where a tree got broken by the wind and didn't regrow mulberry, pear, uh, pomegranate, pear, There is not that much fruit in comparison with last year as if last year things decided I'm going to die because of the drought, I better do something. This year hopefully they will invest more <coughs> in the root system. The leaf, curl, fungi moved in and a uh, lot of leaves on the ground already they are doing their fungi thing and the uh, interesting thing is that this should be treated or removed this is where all the spores for next year gather and uh, or even for a few months later and they will just do their thing again. Let's see what we can do about this. Nectarines. Some of the mint that we planted here on the riparian area growing also some sage and then uh, I started stacking rocks again it's quite a back-breaking exercise sky is in the water again when I hear the sound of a dog in the water I know it's sky this area already dried up it's amazing how uh, white it got is that now the calcium content We have planted a lot of cuttings from willow and actually many other plants all, ar all around this water area. It will be interesting to go and look for them sometime to see what has happened. Now that the sun is coming up, it's the coldest time of the day I uh, am toying with the idea while I'm waiting for my irrigation supplies to arrive um, this he area here was actually uh, underwater simultaneously as this with that um, area in the creek here the earth drops down quite a bit this was very soggy until a week or so ago and I'm toying with the idea to scoop out all this grass 
and the topsoil, place it in a ring with an entrance here to the creek just to fill up should we still have water this springtime there is a lot of space where the water can leave this side and that side be nice to have another pond Temporary indeed because this should be done much better, more permanent should the rain come in October. I'm exposing all the previous irrigation tubing. Uh, get it out of the grass and here to see where it goes where I want it to be it is a overwhelming process to go through but uh, step by step and it will be a lot of trial and error is the way I prefer it a lot of the flowers are still closed and I ask myself why do they close at night and uh, sounds like there are many explanations but none of them conclusive also the khara the white flowers you cannot see anyone flower right now but as soon as the sun is up it's warmer brighter then the flowers show up open up i find it very interesting these apple trees are not doing well last year they did well but then they got eaten by the deer and now they are shy, they're not dead. A few flowers, a few leaves. Maybe I'm just impatient. I should just wait and see what they do. They take their time. And the blood orange and the khaki. Lots of pears and cherries. Till next time. Goodbye.